Rain is not likely to play a small sport during the Durga Puja festivities in Odisha this year as the India Meteorological Department, IMD, predicted dry weather conditions during the four-day festival starting October 21. The Economic Offence Wing EOW of Odisha Police has arrested two more staffers of a Ranchi-based trust for duping several persons of more than 4 rupee crore on the pretext of selling lead bulbs and providing pre-matric scholarship to the students. A home guard has been arrested for allegedly raping a minor girl at Gulta village Odisha's Mayurbhanj district. The accused was posted at Jamda police station near the Odisha Jharkhand border. In a ghastly incident, a woman killed her four-year-old daughter and buried her in the forest. The incident was reported from Gutingaya village under Sarangad police station of Kandhmal district. Odisha Vigilance sleuths unearthed disproportionate assets worth crores of rupees during simultaneous house searches at five locations linked to Prasanna Kumar Pani, J, technical consultant, Samagra Sikhya Abhijana in the office of BEO, Pallahra in Angul on Wednesday. The Odisha government has decided to conduct its own tiger census in the Simlipal Tiger Reserve, STR, in Odisha's Mayurbhanj district. The census will commence on Wednesday and continue till 24th November and the results will be declared in January 2020. Unidentified miscreants allegedly abducted a youth, an interior decorator by profession, from near a shopping mall in the Rasulgad locality of Bhuvneshwar on Tuesday evening. Scrub typhus, a vector-borne disease, is spreading alarmingly in Odisha's Sundargarh district. With the detection of 11 more positive cases on Tuesday, the total number of patients in this district reached 441. A millet seed display unit at Odisha State Tribal Museum was inaugurated by Odisha Agriculture and Farmers Empowerment Minister Ranendra Pratap Swain and Minister of Cent SC Development, Minorities Backward Classes Welfare, Jagannath Sarkar. The Enforcement Directorate, ED, on Wednesday said that it carried out searches at the office premises of four companies in connection with a case of embezzlement of NHAI funds to the tune of 102 rupee 40 paise crore. The Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs on Wednesday approved the increase of up to 9% in the minimum support prices, MSP, for all mandated Rabi crops for marketing season 2024-25. In a major breakthrough, the Anti-Gangster Task Force, AGTF, of Punjab Police on Wednesday arrested an operative of the Lawrence Bishnoi and Goldie Brar gangs from Kharar. A massive fire broke out at two granule factories in Delhi's Bavana area on Wednesday, a fire department official said, adding that the flames were doused within six hours. However, no casualties were reported in both the incidents. The Union Cabinet on Wednesday approved productivity-linked bonus, PLB, equivalent to 78 days wages for 2022-23 to all eligible non-gazetted railway employees. <laughs> Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Wednesday said that the unconventional and asymmetric warfare, including hybrid war, will be part of the future conventional wars. He said that the armed forces should keep all these facets in consideration while planning and formulating strategy. Union Cabinet on Wednesday approved release of an additional installment of Dearness Allowance, DA, to central government employees and Dearness Relief, DR, to pensioners from 1st July, 2023 onwards, representing an increase of 4% over the existing rate of 42% of the basic pay and pension to compensate against price rise. IT major IBM on Wednesday signed three MOs with three entities engaged with the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, MATEY, to advance and accelerate innovation in AI, semiconductor and quantum technology for the country. Biden's visit comes a day after a hospital in Gaza, which was sheltering thousands of displaced people, was bombed on Tuesday. This also led to the cancellation of the president's second leg of the trip to Jordan where he was due to meet Arab leaders. Visiting US President Joe Biden on Wednesday told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the deadly bombing of a hospital in Gaza City appears that it was done by the other team. New Delhi, October 18th. INS, the railways on Wednesday said that in September the Railway Protection Force, RPF, 
रेस्क्यूड आठ सौ पचानवे चिल्ड्रेन इंक्लूडिंग पाँच सौ तिहत्तर बॉयज एंड तीन सौ बाईस गर्ल्स अंडर ऑपरेशन नन्हे फरिश्ते एन एक्सक्लूसिव सर्वे कंडक्टेड बाय वोटर ऑन द रीसेंट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन इसराइल एंड पैलेस्टाइन रिवील्स दैट द होरिफिक टेरर अटैक्स लॉन्च्ड बाय हामास ऑन सिविलियंस इन इसराइल हैज एक्चुअली हार्म्ड द पैलेस्टाइन कॉल बैंक अकाउंट्स ऑफ वाइफ एंड ब्रदर इन लॉ ऑफ द अरेस्टेड कोलकाता बेस्ड बिजनेसमैन बकीबूर रहमान आर अंडर द स्कैनर ऑफ द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टोरेट एड प्रोबिंग द मल्टी क्रॉर रेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्कैम इन वेस्ट बंगाल Congress on Wednesday slammed the BJP led central government over the soaring inflation saying that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has failed to control inflation and people are now going to give him retirement An exclusive survey conducted by Sea Voter on the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas reveals growing support for Israel in India dot traditionally India has publicly supported the cause of an independent homeland for Palestinians and that remains official policy The number of Bitcoin ATMs has plunged by nearly 7000 to date even after witnessing a fresh start by the crypto world in 2023 a new report revealed on Wednesday dot after reaching an all time high of over 39100 in December 2022 the number of Bitcoin ATMs has been continually falling over the past 10 months according to altindex.com The union cabinet is learned to have cleared the proposal of 4% hike in dearness allowance the of the central government employees and pensioners in what may come as a diwali gift for them The center has cleared an ad hoc bonus for group C and non gazetted group B rank central government officials including paramilitary forces and armed forces dot in a notification the finance ministry on tuesday said The calculation ceiling for payment of ad hoc bonus under these orders shall be monthly emoluments of Rs. 7000 hazar rupees. The International Cricket Council (ICC) has handed an official reprimand to Afghanistan player Rehmanullah Gurbaj for abusing his bat and slamming it into a chair during their mains cricket World Cup league match against England here on Sunday. Having won their first 3 matches with ease The Rohit Sharma led Indian team will be hoping to avoid the banana peel when it takes on Bangladesh in the ICC Mains Cricket World Cup 2023 at the Maharashtra Cricket Association MCA stadium here on Thursday. The standoff over between Israel Hamas war has the potential to drag US, Russia and China into the conflict a military expert warned on Wednesday. Media reports said dot professor Justin Bronk said that if Iran attacks Israel in retaliation for invading Gaza Moscow and Beijing will be compelled to step in and the war could escalate